So you know this is a this I get right into it. Let's go. Listen, you know what's so amazing about this is that, you know, we've been interviewing a lot of men and uh you know, uh, my partner Jones, he was just like, yo man, you gotta get that, you know, you gotta get you gotta get that pizzazz in there, you know what I mean? You gotta <laughs> get that female artist that gives you that worldwide appeal. And it, I'm telling you, it happened within a two week time frame. You think wow, what I'm saying? Wow, wow. And of course, Liz, you know, <laughs> I mean, no, no, and there was, you know, one of the great things about it was that via via online and now us meeting you, you're not Hollywood with it. You dig what I'm saying? Oh, man. I, I, I say that too because perception is a motherfucker. Yeah. Pictures, pictures will have a person, right? <laughs> or have the individual thinking, damn, man. She's, she's, she's here, you know what I mean? <laughs> How do I make this happen? Talk to us, when did you start in the music game? I've been doing music since I probably was like four years old, since mm -hmm. I can remember. Mm -hmm. um, before I even came to the country, mm -hmm. um, back in, in Guyana, I'm from Guyana. Right, right. Grew up in Brazil a little bit. Um, always fascinated with um, American culture and American mm -hmm. hip hop and stuff like that. Was fascinated with like Aaliyah, Missy, right. Eve, and all that stuff back right, in the right, day. Right, right, so right. since then, I've always wanted to do it. Um, always been writing since I was younger. Poems, my own rhymes back then. Right, right, you right, know, right, right. Um, when I got the opportunity to came to the states, I'm like, this is what I want to come here for. Mm -hmm. This is what I want to do. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's a male-dominated industry, so it took a while. But <laughs> it was a process. So now, it was a process. but see, so now you know now so now coming to the states, right? Remember. The difference between individuals that send the states is that they'll give you the states, or they'll give you a borough, they'll give you a state. Right. You come from a different country, so you have a worldwide appeal. Yeah. So you yeah. get you get a chance to hear the Caribbean aspect. Of yes. You get a chance to hear the uh, Latin. The Latin. You yes. know what I mean? Yeah. How how was how does it now you get here in the states? You know, so you said, listen, this is my passion. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. Do this. Yes. <laughs> was it was it um was it a process of trying to figure out? What would your sound be? Um, not really, because I never wanted to be um, marginalized mm. to a particular region. Mm -hmm. I've always wanted to be, you know, international. So even though I was not living here, I think that was a good thing because I wasn't influenced by either one. Mm. I love the South. Right. I love the sound that you get from there, but I also love New York. Right, right. I love music altogether. So my music sometimes I will take a southern beat and ride with a New York mm -hmm. flow on it. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I like to make I like to make music that could hit any market mm -hmm. and be so universal that everybody will rock with it. Right. You know right, what I mean? Right. I feel like if I go to Brooklyn or to Texas, you're gonna get, you know, in that box. Right, right. And right. one market is not gonna feed off the other. So I try to stay universal. <laughs> right, but now but that universal pill, remember sort of bleeds off into and I'm saying worldwide in the sense of your country, yeah. you know what I mean, that Latin appeal, that just Caribbean appeal. Yeah. Have you sort of incorporated that sound? That, you know, like I've did, I, yeah, I've actually took a reggae beat and rapped on it. Mm -hmm. I've done that right now. It's actually charting back in Guyana. Mm -hmm. um, my record that I have right now, my single out Palm Reader, I just got a call before I got here. Mm -hmm. um, that is actually number one wow. back there. So it's like, I try to keep it like that. Right, right. Just spicy all the time and good enough that everybody grabs it. Right, you know? right, right, right. <laughs> but you know, you know, and, 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 and that's a hard gamble. Now, what having a team, um, do you, cause you know, sometimes being this artist, right? Sometimes you, you can, some can get in the selfish, uh, in the selfish stage where, listen, I know what my sound is going to be. Do you really take heed to the team? Yeah, I do. I do. Like for instance, right now I have a record called, um, Mo City Don. Mm -hmm. Brooklyn to H Town. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a rapper, you might know him, his name is Zero. Mm -hmm. Legendary Zero yes. from Houston. Mm -hmm. My publicist out there is really close friends with her, mm -hmm. with him. So she was telling me, she's like, if we want to really zone in on the South mm -hmm. and really have them open that door, do what Drake did with that um, June 27th. Mm -hmm. Do something like that. So we came up, we reached out to Zero, he gave us his blessing, wow. and we did Brooklyn to H Town, right. which is a remix of one of his records. And now it is like moving through Texas and Louisiana wow. like crazy. So, wow. and she was the one that made, came up with the right. idea. So I knew, we, we bring our thoughts together mm -hmm. and try to see what's, you know, good for the greater good right. of the brand. Right. And right. we just run with that. Right, right. <laughs> and, that, and, that, and that's good, you know, because once again, you know, despite, despite, you know, being from New York and 
you know, we constantly saying that um, the West Coast or down South had this for that moment for that. Right. Reality wise is that you still want to bleed off into these regions. Yes. So sometimes yes. it takes, it may not be the lyrical content, but it may be the beat, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Or maybe just, you know, um, rock it with something like that. You did zero. Mm -hmm. So give me some other artists that you would like to rock with from uh, different coasts. Actually, I'm go. I'm in Texas. I'm booked for the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. so I have a show coming up with Do Do Beezy, wow. with Paul Wall, with Kiki. Wow! So <laughs> yes, guess. it's gonna be the whole Super Bowl weekend. I, I actually have four shows this lineup, wow. so that's gonna be really, really dope. I have some artists from. Um, we reached out to Slim Thug, but we going back and forth with if we want him to hop on one of my record or we want his record. But I, I just love the South and Louisiana, Houston, like that belt line, uh, that belt line right? all the way to Arkansas is just crazy. And they love New York. Right. And right now, I can't really speak on it, but I don't, I don't think there's any female right now that they're really zoning in on. Mm -hmm. So I think I have a lane that I could actually there you go. run with that. You know what I mean? Right. Now let me ask you this. Now you know, and it's crazy that you 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 um you speak about females in general. Um, how has it been on that 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 standpoint? You know, as a because you know when I see you, I see a, a artist. You know, yes. but now of course female based. Um, is the cattiness there or have it grown to a point where women can work together. I've seen the cattiness right. amounts other females, but I try not to get into it. I try not to, you know, get caught up in it because I know I'm gonna be major and when I get major, I wanna be able to reach out to other right. females and keep, you know, open that pipeline. Cause mm -hmm. the pipeline I don't think has been open since maybe the early 2000s. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We had Nikki, we have Remy, we have, but I don't think the line has really been open. Right, right. Where, right. you know, everyone is comfortable to say, you know what, let me find another dope female artist and get on the road with it. Right. I haven't seen it. So I want to be able to do that and I can't do that if I'm beefing with nobody. Right. So right. I try to stay neutral out of everything. Right, right, right. So that when I get on top, I could actually do that for female hip hop. Right, right. So, but it is still there. It very much the competitiveness, but I always say once you're confident in who you are, once you, you know what you're about, your, your team is strong, your brand is strong, your image is mm. strong, you don't have to be worried about nobody else. You'll get on a record with anybody. Is there any female it, artists that you, yeah. that you work with? Um, I work with two so far. Um, you know they up and coming. Yeah, That's they up and coming. Um, she, this artist, uh, Poison, she is amazing, mm -hmm. amazing, mm -hmm. amazing artist. Um, there's uh, Queen from um, she's, she she calls herself Queen, Lady Queen from Houston. Okay. okay. Um, Nessa Carey from Houston. Nessa, mm -hmm. it's, it's a lot of people that a lot of you, females. You, you want that Houston thing hard? Oh, I'm, 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 I smell what you're cooking. You see, the thing is, without there, they still buy CDs. Out there. Right. And you season the moment. Yeah. And you gotta go with that. And not only that, it's like when you go down there, you get paid for shows. You get booked. You know, you're on tour with people. I did a show with your butt in Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. Like, you get paid in New York, you're still paying to go on certain, mm -hmm. you know? Right, right, no, no, no. So I it's different, it's different. The love is just different because they appreciate the mm -hmm. music so much, mm -hmm. you know, and they appreciate what I, me personally, what I'm trying to do. Mm -hmm. So I gotta go with, you know. <laughs> what works, no, I, listen, yeah. I get it, I get it. Do you feel that New York is um, a bit more, you know, are, are they receptive to you, your sound? Yeah, they are, they are. They are. I've been, and what I love about it though, I've actually had conversations with a lot of artists, mm -hmm. um, male artists, um, and they don't see me as a female artist. Right. And that's what I love. They just see me as an artist. Right. Because I try to make sure that, like I said, my brand, my content, and everything is so strong to the point where a, a male artist might think twice before he try me. Because if we have to go. Pound for pound, you gotta come with your best. Hello, I you know? respect it. No, <laughs> so I, respect it. I try to keep it like that. <laughs> you know, and, and we get it. We, we jump right into it. But give me more about your brand. You know, what's your brand? Talk to us about the brand and what what uh, help me understand branding. Okay, Leah, for you, for me, Leah Javinci. I always wanted to create my own lane. I never wanted to be the bubblegum female rapper. I always want to step on the step on the scene as a boss. Mm -hmm. So, but I'm not a boss. No, like. Everyone around me, I let them do what they do. Mm -hmm. My management, I let him, he, you know, let him do what he do. Publicists, everybody do what they do. But I always want to be in a position where I'm respected mm -hmm. when I'm in any circle. Mm -hmm. You know, so Leah Javinci number one is a very strong name. 
that's me. That's my real name. And I. What, Leah? Leah, yeah, that's my oh, real okay, name. Oh, okay, okay. I thought um, that's a good remix right yeah. there. I mean, <laughs> whoa. Right. But I see myself as, as uh, like I said, as a boss, like a female version of a boss. Like, mm -hmm. I could go in any circle and rap and hold it down, mm -hmm. or just my presence hold it down. So. I try to brand that. <laughs> no, I smell what you're cooking. Um, is there any other business ventures that you about, you know, that you would like to get into or you're currently in? Um, right now I have uh, my clothing line that not t-shirts. Okay. Actual oh. clothing line. Yeah, yeah. Differentiate, <laughs> yes. y'all. Differentiate. Clothing from oh, t-shirt line. Yes. <laughs> that a friend of mine, actually my stylist Shamir, Styles by Shamir, um, we're putting together. Uh, it's gonna be very affordable, um, but it's gonna be clothes that uh, you know, the average female could put on. We're gonna have like sweats, we're gonna have like, t you know, just regular stuff, and then we're gonna have the couture line where okay. we have actual clothes, okay. gowns, all the different stuff, jewelry line. Well, my, she's right here. Okay. <laughs> just came back from Dubai. Um, okay. We go and venture into the jewelry line and stuff like that. So, there's a lot of things that is coming out. <laughs> I see, I see, I see. Any acting? A little bit. Um, for some reason, character. I, I say that. I, just, I, I, I throw that out there. Yeah, you know what it is. I I've been asked to do a lot of music videos lately. Mm -hmm. Like I did a Dave Eason OP video the other day. Um, but I try to stay away from it because I don't want to be labeled as a video girl. Because automatically they look at you and they think you look a certain type of way. Mm -hmm. I will, and someone actually came on my page this morning and was like, "Are you a video girl that can actually rap?" I'm like, "No. <laughs> I'm an artist that just." You know, yeah. I'm friends with these people, so some, you know, sometimes I'll slip in a video, do a cameo, but I'm not a video girl. <laughs> yeah, but that video girl, that money, right? You, you, we'll do that. Okay, you know, we don't say no to check. All right now, right now, all right now. But I, I know you. I, I know you let it be known from up front, though. Yes, which is yes. which is a, gr a beautiful thing because yeah. you could be pigeonholed. So I don't want to do that. No, no, I which, don't want to end you know, up with like that. Yeah. Um, once again, as we, you know, when you look at specifics or whatever, and you see certain things or whatever, you run with that. Yeah. So yeah. now he's sitting down. I'm like, She's worldly. <laughs> you know, she has etiquette, you know? And that that plays a major role. Yeah. That plays yeah. a major role. I don't like when, you know, uh, as female artists, you get perceived as just having to be able to talk about this or put in a box or you got to act like this. Like, I don't like that. I don't like being put in a box. Mm -hmm. I like to be able to come in and you respect me for me. Mm -hmm. Not, okay, she a female rapper, so, you know, she's stereotyped over mm -hmm. here. I don't like that at all. So, that's why my mannerisms, my mannerism is like this. When I work, my in my work ethic, my mind will take you. <laughs> it's crazy. Like I would live like that record palm reader. Right. Literally right. did that in two days. Cause we um, we was in the studio listening to some beats. The guy was like, "What do you think about this?" I liked it. Got it done. Like I'm not the one that's gonna sit around and wait for somebody to do something for me. Right. Sometimes they gotta catch up with me. Hello. <laughs> Cause I'm going and I'm going and I'm going. But that's just how it is. So you said. <laughs> so you told them uh, you, um, mixtape, right? Um, yeah. Are you? Uh, is it? Is it tailored to be a mixtape or album? It's tailored to be a mixtape, but there's a few original records on it that, mm -hmm. like Palm Reader is on it. Right. Um, there's a few original songs that could actually move with it, but my EP is gonna come out in April. Okay. But the mixtape is just so people could have an idea who who I am as an artist. You know what I've been doing. Um, there's a lot of issues that's happening right now. Um, culture wise I wanted to speak on. Okay. So, you know, it's <laughs> just a lot of things that we've been putting together. But it's an amazing take though. Um the twenty second is gonna be coming out which is Sunday. Um it's gonna be my birthday slash um mixtape release party. So it's gonna be unveiled and I know everybody's gonna love it so <laughs> yeah, no hey listen ain't nothing wrong with you know putting it out there. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with this being now I am not I ain't gonna say cocky but confident. Yeah. Confident. You have to be. Yeah. You yeah. have to be. This is a, a male dominated industry. And if you come out of the sheep, you're going to get chewed up in these streets. So you can't do that. <laughs> right, right, right. You know, no, you I, gotta... get, I get where you're coming from. <laughs> now, I, I, I'm, and just in, in closing, I want to get back to a uh, mixtape. So I know you said there's a, a, a thing going on. So so you'll be touching up on a slew of different um, political issues or, just, you know, life. or what? I mean, talk to me about it. Life issues, because a lot of people, a lot of females um, look up to me. I have a lot of female following on my social media, and I want to be able to empower them. Okay. I want to be able to, like, one girl came in my inbox the other day, and she was like, you make me want to get up every day and be about mine. You make me want to do better, mm -hmm. you know, and I feel good when I get stuff, feedback like that. Um, of course, with this political climate, you cannot not touch on it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's some stuff on that. Um, the state of the hip hop industry, the state of female hip hop. I wanted to talk about that a little bit. So, you know, it's a lot of stuff going on on that. <laughs> Here we have it. 
She talked that talk. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. I mean, you know, usually I get a little balls. Fred looking at me like, oh, it real, it real. <laughs> but you gotta give me a little something, man. I don't care if it's written. I don't care if you. It's a song based. Give me something. <laughs> Let me see. Come on, don't get bad from now. Nah, never. Boss chick, you know what? Let me get this. Let me get together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get out of your way too. Don't worry about it. You know, I don't want you. Boss chick, the only chick stacks on my grind on the beat, but I rock it ASAP. Fall start to the game, had to replace that. Can't relate to broke bitches, that's a straight fact. Bread up, stay bent up, making money like magic. Flow sick, boss chicken ain't average to no bitch. White bitch that better lay low, this a Brooklyn shit, not an everyday flow. Schooling y'all bitches at the marinade hole, don't let. <laughs> Wait, don't worry about that. Let's, Let's go. go. <laughs> I Knew I was gonna make it like I said I would Champagne, fancy cars, all my hitters eating good Was worth little, now a bitch and it work triple In the middle, of the fast lane, still spitting riddles Went from turning white like Michael every night To touring cities like Dubai and Paris on a private flight Never was a bitch that had my hand out in my life Now these hoes trying to be down my circle small like Mike and Knight uh -oh, uh -oh. yeah, okay, 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 yeah See, I, had to, I ain't want to throw an equilibrium off, you dig what I'm saying? So I, I had to fall back for a second, you dig what I'm saying? I, I have a tendency of doing that, you dig? But, uh, you know, in closing, you know, give us your social network. All social media, at Leah Givenchy, L-I-A-G-I-V-E-N-C-H-Y. Make sure y'all follow me. We appreciate you. Thank I you thank for you. having me. Another hug. <laughs> appreciate you, for real.